All right, now we are on to part three of our video on building up a large city. So very quickly, I'm gonna take on just a little bit more debt. As you can see, we still have another million we can draw from if we need to. Um, it was a little bit more radical than I like to be, but um, tends to be working out okay for right now. And I'm going to use this to put in a residential zone. I'm just going to make a little connection there. All right. So now the highway officially isn't the one single way of getting from place to place, but it's still going to be the primary method of commuting which is fine. Again, having this weirdness with the road kind of popping up when I don't want it to. But again, that's okay. What we're doing now is really we're positioning the commercial district as the center of activity, which is good. That's exactly how we want things to be. Because um, in my mind, one of the most exciting things that we can do in this game is, is to build sort of a vibrant um, downtown area. Water, make sure that we've got water in here. We don't get it flowing. Build a hospital, always important. And then a couple of schools. This time, um, this area is a little smaller, so we probably don't need a large high school, just a normal high school would probably, um, probably be okay. So now we'll just wait and see what happens if we get demand. Oh, did we make a little mistake with the water? May have, or we're maybe just running low on our water capacity. That's the case. So I'm going to add additional um, capacity for a little more water. I'm going to put it right here. There we go. One of the other things that I think that we got asked to build before was a city hall. That does good things for demand. I'm not sure if we put it in or not yet. We did not. So I'm going to go ahead and build us a city hall right there, even though it's expensive. Now we're starting to see a little bit of build up here in this commercial zone, which is a pretty exciting thing to see. So in three more months when that loan expires, I'm gonna take out a new loan. So it kind of looks like we're fumbling on in this kind of financial gap right now, and, and that may be true, but we're gonna, we're gonna take care of it. interesting little developments here. All low wealth apartments, but that's okay. If 
probably going to extend my manufacturing just a little bit more right here um, and then kind of start building out some lower density stuff over on the left. But again, this is kind of going to be the peak of my high density area. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in for a loan as I've done several times before. Always staying kind of below the 1.2 um, million mark. I'm going to add in a couple new buildings. I'm going to add a courthouse. That'll help me boost some demand. I'm going to take this avenue and bring it up. So this is really going to help um, get some of my commuters up towards the top of the city. And it'll give me a good kind of territory marker for some of my industrial development. thinking at this point is this is probably going to be the end of my industrial building, but you never totally know. But at least for the here and now, this is going to be pretty much the limit. fire department and a couple of bus stations. And finally a bit of water. It's very important. There we go. So we should see some pretty rapid growth here, maybe even some high tech. That would be pretty exciting. And yeah, we are. We're seeing some high-tech growth, which is really helping to stimulate more of our commercial demand. So we should see some build-up in our first little financial district area. Good. This is exactly what I want to see. So we're checking again on our traffic. So we've got little pockets of traffic and it looks like in those underpass areas where there's some red lights. Um, but again, people are utilizing our highways to get from place to place. Our air pollution, as you can see, is really centered around our industrial area and our big traffic areas. Land value is doing really well. Um, in, especially in our you know, our residential areas. And we've got some pretty good desirability, but as you can see, um, the desirability becomes bright green for office buildings right around um, those high traffic areas, which is kind of exactly what we were expecting to see. And then we're kind of, you know, fumbling slowly upward, <laughs> you know, our expenses have continued to stay a lot higher than our income. Um, but that, again, will all be, be changing fairly soon. So I know I said that I wasn't going to do this, but we're running out of water, and so I'm going to need to. Take out a loan. I'm going to just, we were having some unemployment issues over here. I'm going to bump out just a little area for some commercial development. Just to get that, that low density, really basic, really basic stuff here.
I'm just going to put in a couple bus stops. I'm going to add another water pump. This should spring up real quick. There we go. Just what I was hoping for. Oops. Somehow we forgot to connect that road. So now we're really just focusing on building up our commercial demand. And that's pretty exciting. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start actually increasing the density of the commercial area uh, that I've got. Not all of it, but most of it. And we should start to see some growth in those areas. Good. This is exactly what I was hoping to see. You see your building starting to get a bit taller. This area up here didn't have as much um, residential growth yet, but that's okay. So we're going to come back over here and check on our original areas. Looking great. We're getting some nice condo buildings. Lots of good, lots of good stuff. Lots of good growth in this area. What we can actually do as well is we're going to go in and we're going to get rid of these power lines. So we don't need. So I'm going to give you a zoom out view. So, in a pretty short period of time, we've started to build up a relatively substantial looking city. We're seeing a lot of growth. Seeing a lot of good things. Just let this kind of keep going. We're going to watch it for a couple of minutes. Kind of see where we can get. I'm going to put in the cemetery that it's asking us for. Lots of cemeteries being requested. Oh no, I'm riding low on water again. Got ten months until those loans get all used up, but I'm going to actually close those a bit early. So now I'm really getting into dangerous territory financially, but I need water and I'm going to fill in just the last kind of big chunk of this area here.
Perfect. <laughs> Already plenty of water going through here. And lastly, I'm going to add in a water pump. So it's very important. I'll fill up real quick. So that generated some some good income in that area. A lot of our people in here are still struggling kind of to find find some jobs. It's like we're gonna need one more power plant. All right, and we got a big, big savings from that loan payoff. So what I'm going to do while this is rolling, I'm going to just fill in some of this extra area here with some commercial. In months we will have a balanced budget if not before then. We have gotten ourselves out of that sort of dangerous area financially and in about an hour we have built a very successful and thriving city. Now that I've got a little bit of leverage I'm going to just kind of do another couple little things here and there, just to make this a little bit more interesting. Now that I've got a little bit of money to play with, I'm going to add some statues. Maybe not the $22,000 one quite yet. Excellent. 
couple of other things that I'm going to do. I'm going to increase my funding to my schools and hospitals. We know that we're waiting on that. Here's what we really need to do. Got about 90,000 people. Got a budget that is um, it's pretty well balanced. And we're starting to see some high density growth. So I am going to say that this is just about it for our big city um, three-part tutorial. And look at that. We have much more income than we do expense right now, so that's great. And this will just kind of keep rolling. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.